Coming up next, a pick a card, read one through four. This will give you a chance to meditate and have time to pick which stone touches your spirit today. And what I asked was, what is it that you will be experiencing today? So this is pal one. This is pal two. Okay. This is pal three. You can also pause your video if you need to. And this is pal four. Okay. One, two, three, and four. All right. Let's begin. Welcome to Toys Tarot, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the pick a card read, starting with PAL 1. All right, PAL 1. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay. So you received the King of Cups, the King of Cups, the King of Cups came upside down, okay, you also received the full card, and that was actually upright, okay, so it seems like somebody is walking away from something that they don't want to hear, Okay, maybe they're refusing to um, be deceived by some kind of um, false emotion of some kind. Okay, a possible message regarding romance for you, Pal One, person who chose Pal One. Okay, to me, what stands out to me for you pal one is maybe um it's two people feeling an indifference okay <laughs> looking at this stone there's like two different shades okay you also received another fool's card so you received two full cards um pal number one so to me since this person is looking a different direction from like where their body is wanting them to go right it's as if like you know what direction you should go you know your spirit is telling you to walk away possibly from a situation but for some reason it's like you can't and you're you're stuck in being like self um you're stuck in like this self um deception you you're wanting to be deceived it seems like for some others that chose pal one i also get that there's possibly someone because this could be like a money bag too okay maybe somebody is reaching out for something okay and maybe somebody is greedy and whether this is you or someone else today and just, you know, just refusing to share or if we're talking like business outside of romance, right? Maybe it's, um, maybe you're walking away from some kind of um, business deal, taking your business elsewhere. Somebody's trying to sell you something, okay? And you're realizing that they're being deceptive about whatever they're selling today and so you decide to walk away from the situation okay i get the feeling like you're doing something different you're wanting to do something different today okay usually maybe you buy something purchase something or fall for something but today you're like no i'm just gonna walk away that's what's gonna happen um for you it seems like um you received the bowl which talks about plenty of material things so that's when i kind of was um getting the vibes of you know somebody possibly not uh, wanting to share or maybe it's somebody who has like a spending problem maybe you have a spending pr 
problem, a spending addiction, you know, um, a spending habit, and you're finally like trying to walk away from the situation, and also you're realizing that it, you know, it's just a material thing, you know, you have that, you have plenty, okay, that could be why that's coming up too. Um, pal number one, you also receive the mule, which talks about someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So maybe, you know, it's two people again, who are feeling an indifference with a situation, whether it's you or someone else. Right. And you'll know if it's you or not, because, you know, you've been going through it recently with the situation, um, with someone else and, whether it's you or somebody else, someone is stubborn. Maybe the other person is stubborn and you're just tired of dealing with the stubbornness, okay? You're going to decide that you're tired of it, okay? And since the mule is going that direction of this guy, I'm thinking this other person is the person that's stubborn, okay? And it's like you're constantly trying to, you know, reach out, but, you know, it's like, no, it's... It's my way or no way for that other person. You also receive the dog, which talks about far away. It says a distant friend is thinking about you. So this person could possibly be a friend that you've been having um, a situ, like, I guess, a, a issue with, um, an indifference with. This could be a distant friend, okay? Maybe that's why the dog is right there, Okay. So, you know this person for sure, okay? Um, you receive the fire, which talks about strong emotion, passionate, love or hate. So, this could be a love and hate situation or a love or hate situation. Now, what this card basically talks about is like seeing clearly, finally realizing the truth. So, there's one person knows how this stone is clear. You're going to finally see the truth of a matter regarding, you know, something. And um, this also talks about keep your feelings in check. Okay, keep your feelings in check. This person might be trying to make you upset, you know. Or like I said, um, just try to deceive you, you know, keep your feelings, you know, in check about it. And, you know, just walk away from the situation. Okay. Now, you also receive the Six of Hearts, which talks about, um, like, if if it's, let's say you're in a relationship for the person that chose um, PAL 1. If you're in a relationship and, you know, it's been unpleasant in the relationship, you know, between two people, a couple and stuff, indifference, like I said, marriage, or just a relationship, living situation or something, or even like a family situation in general, okay? It's talking about that um, things will improve in the situation, and that could also be why... Um, you receive the fool's card going the other direction, okay? So things will improve for a um, home situation for some, okay? And that one is actually for a masculine energy, for a male energy that needed to hear that regarding the home, okay? Now, um, for the person that chose power number one, somebody is going to come to you as if being guided, towards you okay maybe like a teacher or god have you ever had like somebody just walk up to you a complete stranger and you know god put something on their heart to tell you or you know your angels the universe put something on their heart to tell you something that you need to hear at that time that's what's going to happen to you today um for those who chose power one it's going to be that type of situation and whatever they say it's going to it's going to cause some kind of um, growth in you, okay? It's going to spark something for you. Someone may be actually going to get a massage today or is in need of a massage, okay? So, that'll be happening for you today. Um, regarding the person being led to you, know that it's going to be... Um, put together by your angels okay also have you ever had it to where like you feel like something's touching you like you know your ear may itch or you feel like something on your shoulder or like you know some but nobody's there it's that type of situation it's gonna be your angels just know that and that's how you know um this person is nearing okay but again you could be getting a massage today for some um 
for some um, people who chose POW number one. You received the Venus card, okay? So that means that you could have um, Taurus in your second house or you could have um, Libra in your seventh house. Okay, again, it talks about like appreciating your surroundings. If you got somewhere, just appreciate your um, surroundings. This is going to be a period of attraction for you. You could be a very attractive person. This could be why it's like purple and, you know, purple, a beauty, you know, very girlish possibly. Or very in tune, if you're a male, very in tune with your feminine energy, okay? You could be an Aries or know an Aries as well, Okay. This card talks about um, releasing um, bitterness, you know, um, jealousy, talks about anger, all that. Um, it's like an emotional release. So, yeah, so maybe you're holding on to something um, for the ones who chose pile number one, um, feeling some type of way. And it's just saying that your feelings are valid, but um, just let it go and keep your temper in check, okay, today. Okay, and again, you could be dealing with Aries, have an Aries placement. Um, you could have second house Taurus or be a seventh house Libra placement. Okay, and again, you'll probably be getting a massage today as well. You also could be in Aquarius, have Aquarius in your 11th house. Okay, or the person could have Aquarius in their 11th house. And again, this could be a friend. Okay, because you received the 11th house, which talks about the um, house of friendship and notice how this is purple and so is this okay so yes this definitely has to do with a friend um that you're going to be dealing with today um for those who chose pal number one okay and again this card talks about like um like meeting mentors guides and to me i think this is more so guides your angels so somebody's going to be sent to you and you're going to hear something Okay. And again, this is the same thing to a source. Okay. You're going to trust your instinct. Somebody is going to be guided to you. You're going to be guided to hear some type of truth. Okay. Now it may not be something that you want to hear. Okay. You, you want to not believe it the, with the blindfolds, but it's truth. So, you know, you, tr you can trust it. Okay. Now the six of pentacles talks about taking your business elsewhere as i mentioned earlier self-deception somebody trying to deceive you and again when um the woman walked away somebody could be trying to sell you something today and you're like nope mm -mm, i'm not gonna buy that and you walk away from the situation or trusting that this is not the right person to you know do business with okay the last card you received for um pile number one is the devil card okay and again, um, this is something that's going to be shown to you. It's like wanting to believe something that's not healthy for you, okay? But you're going to um, realize the truth about it. So that is basically what's going on with you um, for those who chose pal number one. Now, I did two sticks for you. It says smile. Let me see if I can get it in here. It says, smile at people you pass on the street. And that could be because that'll be the person that'll be guided towards you. Okay? You just won't know which one until they come up to you. Okay? Now, um, the next one says, turn a project or task into a celebration. Invite friends over to help. Okay? So... You could be, um, it's probably saying reach out to a friend as well today to help you with this project that you need help with. All right, so that's it for um, pile number one. Um, let me know what happens with you today and go ahead and come back and comment below and tell me what resonated with you and what didn't. I would love to hear. Okay, thank you. Moving on to pile number two. All right, pal number two. Hello, welcome to Toy Tarot. All right, so I'll try my best to timestamp below. Okay, you received the Six of Wands, okay? You received the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about, um, like, I guess, recovery after, like, difficulty. And it also talks about, like, a loss. So somebody lost something that they're thinking really hard about. You're going to lose something probably today 
okay, that you're going to be in deep thought about, okay? You received the Eight of Clubs, okay? And what this talks about as well um, is it says an event causing a sudden... I was looking at my notes that I put on here. Okay, so it talks about an event causing a... Um, Causing like sudden um, shock, and it also talks about um, hostile energies. So whatever is whatever this is that you're going to lose today, um, it's it's going to come as a sudden shock, of course, and it it will make you hostile. Okay. Um, and again, it talks about um, loss. Okay, this is loss for me. Okay, you received the five of swords, pile number two. Now, um, it's you received the broom card, which talks about like new home, okay, new attitude. To me, I'm going with new attitude um, for some out here. Now, it could be new home, but um, for this, so far, I'm going with new attitude. So, it's something that you're going to lose today, and it's going to cause you to, um, you know, uh, it's going to cause an imbalance within you and cause you to come out of your character and... Um, you know, you're being asked to have a new attitude about the situation, okay? Again, yep, see, balance. You receive scales. So this could also be like a legal situation as well, okay? So stay balanced when this happens, okay? And again, loss, okay? And um, again, legal stands out to me. So it could be two things. You could have lost something just in general. Um, it could be small or, you know, possibly um, it could deal with a home. Maybe you um, lost something um, regarding a home that had to do with, like, legal matters for um, that ha that is going to have to do with legal matters today, okay? Or something that you need today that in the past um, had to do with some home, okay, situation for you. You also received the Page of Pentacles, okay? Again, this person looks like they're just completely lost, but they found something. It's like, oh, it was here. It was here the whole time. Or what is this? Or maybe, like, you thought you lost it, but then, then you know, all of a sudden, you realize there was still something else. Like, some, it was a book or a documentation that you need for, for a, um, regarding a home. So, pile number two is something, some kind of book that you're going to find that is going to be a key Thing for you regarding a home situation okay for some now this one talks about love deep affection um and caring so you're going to receive some love based upon how you are like if you keep calm in this situation and not let whatever you lost you know get the best of you okay have a good out attitude about it and um, stay balanced, okay? You also received the Beetle card, which is good fortune, okay? So, again, he looks like he received something, okay? Know that that was from God, Spirit, the universe, and your angels, okay? Or possibly, once you finally find this by keeping balance, you're going to realize that whatever you lost come july whatever you lose today come july it's going to bring it's going to be some good fortune for you okay it's going to bring good fortune for you okay also it could you could have a um, birthday in july could be it could be dealing with somebody in july could be um trying to move somewhere in july um but july is definitely involved in the situation okay it could have been uh, the past july whatever you lose today okay Pile number two. Now, God is asking you again to keep calm in this matter. And if you do, you will be rewarded, okay, by the creator, okay? Keep your peace, okay, about it. You receive integration, okay? Be peaceful. Come together with God in the situation about it, okay? Trust your inner voice. Listen to your inner voice, okay? Now, you received um, number 21, okay, for those who picked um, pal two. And what this talks about is drink tea. When you drink tea, it brings some sense of peace. Okay. So drink some tea today, pal number two. Maybe you might go somewhere and during the moment you drink tea, you might end, you might realize today that you figure it out. You find out whatever it is that you lost. You remember where it is. Okay. 
um, you received the full moon card, okay? And to me, this is just saying that um, the journey is only half over. So it's not over. It might seem like it's over, this thing that you lose today, but it's not, okay? You're going to figure something out. Maybe during this tea time, possibly. You're going through some energy because you received the first quarter moon. You're going through some energy that has you feeling doubtful, possibly, okay? And you'll probably feel that today, okay? It's some Neptune energy. So during my reads, um, I know for sure Aries received Neptune energy. Cancers received Neptune energy. Um, so you could be a Cancer or Aries, okay? Could be another sign too, but um, you it's a possible possibility that you could have that in your chart. Okay, so you're going through this Neptune energy, which talks about like um, certain things preying on your insecurities. Now, this house is ruled by Pisces, so you could it could have something to do with a Pisces. You could be a Pisces, or you could have twelfth house um, Pisces. Okay, but whatever it is, you feel. You're ready for it to be over, whatever it is. You're ready for it to be over, okay? And you're going to feel it today, okay? Do not keep, like, stay balanced in this situation. Keep your emotions in check, okay, regarding this thing that you feel that you lost, but know that, you know, it's not over. There's a moon behind this person, okay? You'll, it's going to be something that's going to come, okay? It's not going to be a loss for you. And again, um, it could be over like something that ended within, you know, um, a, a relationship, possibly in the past, possibly. OK. Um, that ended. OK, you're going to get help with something. OK. And again, you're going to get help with finding maybe it's a book or something that you're going to end up losing or a planner or something like that or something. Um, you're going to get help with finding what you lose today. Just stay balanced, okay? Now, the two sticks that you receive is leave a generous tip, okay? The other one is enjoy the simple um, pleasures, a fresh, clean towel or ice cold lemonade, okay? Enjoy simple sensory pleasures, a fresh, clean towel or ice cold lemonade, Um so you might buy a lemonade today, you know, but that is what I have for you, pal, too. All right. Thank you so much. Moving on to pal three. All right, pal three. Welcome to Toys Tarot. Thank you so much for joining. All right. So what you received, pal three. Today, something about the home, okay? Something within the home is going on with you today. For those who chose pile number three, it seems that you're going to have a tower moment. Okay, for those who chose pile, um, pile number three, what the tower moment represents is something um, happening out of nowhere. Okay, it's a possibility that you might even, um, for some, their next door neighbor's house may catch fire. Um, it doesn't have to be that intense, it could be something minor. Okay, within the home. Okay. So what this talks about is taking it, taking something to a higher level, okay? Um, possibly something happened within a home. So something's going to happen within a home situation, okay? Like I said, it doesn't have to be as extreme as that. It just could be like like a confrontation or something or something small, something. It could be like, like a small accident, something really little as far as like, you know, accidentally stubbing your toe or something. This is really small. Okay, but this is take this is talking about taking it to a higher level. So whatever happens, don't let it, um, you know, um, ruin your day. Basically, is what this is saying. Okay, so it's definitely within two people. Okay, this has to do with a guy to me. Okay, maybe um, your significant other is going through some things. Okay. Um, in the relationship, okay? That's going to require um, both people, you know, if you're wanting to work something out to come together in the situation, okay? And again, this reminds me of this right here. So it's definitely taking something to a higher level, okay? Not letting this tower moment or whatever happens to you today defeat you, okay? 
You also received the justice card because I asked for a clarifying card. Okay. Um, justice. Something is, you're possibly going to receive truth, balance, or some, uh, like I said, some, for, some form of justice for something that happens, um, that, that happens today regarding a, um, a love situation, um, within the home possibly. Pile number three, you also received the page of wands, okay? So it's as if to receive something. You're going to be receiving something, okay? Again, what you receive is possibly this justice. So let's see if we can get a little bit deeper into it. You received the cat card, which talks about a two-faced friend. So maybe you find out somebody was two-faced to you today, okay? Pile number three, um, maybe... Maybe you'll find out in February um, some more information regarding this situation. Maybe their birthday's in February. Maybe your birthday's in February. Okay? Maybe something happened this past February. But February stands out and is very important for you who chose, for those who chose power number three. Okay? You also received the fan card, which talks about celebration, romance, parties. Okay? So that's definitely good news. And again, yes, so it has to do with a marriage. So know that if you go above and beyond, you know, everything will be successful, okay? It will be successful. Y'all are going to have to come together and work together with this. But this is definitely for a masculine en energy for the male, okay, for a guy, okay, out there. But it, it could be, you know, feminine or male energy, you know, but it's about coming together, okay? in this um in this um marital situation with whatever ends up happening today that's going to cause a tower moment for you okay now it seems like you got um you're going to get news of a birth or a new business opportunity and for some reason i'm thinking like business come together in a business okay Maybe a business didn't go as you thought it was, okay? Or it's probably something's going to happen today regarding that business and stuff, okay? And you'll probably get news about it.